Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the price elasticity of demand using the midpoint method. So, the midpoint method is when you find the point between two points. So, it's the midpoint. And this gives us a good average of the price elasticity of demand, which is quite accurate. So, the m way we're going to do this is through a formula. The main thing you'll want to know is this formula as this will be key to solving almost every problem involving the price elasticity of demand. And that formula is PED, which stands for Price Elasticity of Demand, is equal to Q2 minus Q1 all divided by the average of Q, where Q stands for quantity on our demand supply graph. And then we have all of that divided by P2 minus P1 over average P, where P stands for price. And if you're wondering what the Q2 and the Q1 are, that's just quantity point 2 and quantity point 1. So in this example, say Q2 is here and Q1 is here. So Q1 is the first quantity and Q2 is the second quantity. So then when we move on to solving this problem, we simply substitute these values into this formula. So we have Q2 first. So quantity at Q2 is 14. So we have 14 minus Q1, which is 12. And that's all over the average of Q. So the average will be right in between the two Qs, so in between 12 and 14, which will be 13. However, if you, in some cases, it won't be as easy as just looking at it, and you might have to calculate the average. And if that's the case, just remember to get the average, add Q2 and Q1 together and divide it by 2. So in this example, that's like adding 12 and 14, dividing it by 2, that will give us 26 divided by 2, which will give us our average of 13. So I'll erase that because don't want to take up too s much space and make things look more complicated than they actually are. But just remember that's how you find the average for the average section of this formula. And then we repeat the same thing for the P side of the equation. So we have divided by P2 where this is our price point 2. But be careful here. It has to be the same as our point for our quantity 2 because our quantity 1 and price 1 will be the same point and our quantity 2 and price 2 will be the same point. That's how it works because you have your quantity and price for your point 1 and then it goes and changes to your quantity and price for point 2. So we have P2 which if we go to the price side of our demand supply diagram that is 2 minus P1 which is 4 and then we have our average, so right between those is 3. And now we have our full equation, and it's simply a matter of solving it. So 14 minus 12 is 2 over 13, divided by 2 minus 4, which is negative 2 over 3. And now we simply have to solve this division problem. And if you remember from school, when you're solving a division problem, have the first part of your problem the same, then change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and then finally find the reciprocal of the second part of the equation, which just means you flip the fraction. So negative 2 over 3 becomes negative 3 over 2. And then we have 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, over 13 times 2, which is 26. We can simplify that to negative 3 over 13, and if we use a calculator, we can convert that to a decimal, giving us our price elasticity of demand to two decimal places to be negative 0 0.23. And that's how you find the price elasticity of demand using the midpoint method. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.